Hey, imagine, if you will, that this bottle of leather conditioner is a spaceship floating through space. I guess spaceships don't really make noise. Nothing makes noise in space, but still, right? And uh, so we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to flesh it out. Um, we're going to, I'm going to draw a very detailed drawing of it. But we're going to find out more about it by way of a vast series of maybe 12 or 13 um, online random generators for every aspect about it, from who owns the ship, what kind of ship it is, the name of the ship, the name of the captain, um, what what bumper stickers on it, what kind of technology it has, what's in the, the kitchen, stuff like that. All right, so we're going to get started on that. I'll draw, and as I draw, I'll pull up the generators and show you. All right. We're just going to go with what the generators give us. But first, some of you might be noticing um, the fashionistas and fashionistos out there might be noticing I have a pretty cool shirt on, and that's okay. You might want this shirt. In fact, you can have this shirt via Poshmark. Poshmark is a very easy way to clean out your closet and get paid for it, or to fill up your closet with other people's name brand items, often at like 70% off of retail prices. Personally, I have listed a uh, bunch of my own um, kind of, I don't know if you would call this a Hawaiian shirt, but I do have a bunch of shirts that I've listed. So download Poshmark using the link in the description box to shop for my closet or to shop for any of your favorite brands. There's a lot of cool stuff out there at very affordable prices. Let's move on and start drawing. All right, so imagine a world. Let me, let me lay it out for you. Imagine not only a world, of course, but a, a universe, a space scape. And in this reality, um, bikers have taken over. Okay. Yeah. Motorcycle gangs, uh, run things at least in this stretch of the galaxy or between the, the area we're looking at motorcycle gangs run things and they own this ship. Um, they're not really, you know, they're kind of a paramilitary force. They're at least the closest thing we've got. They're the ones that stepped up when things were falling apart. They saw a hole, uh, they filled it, they saw an opportunity, they reached for it, right? They were tired of being, uh, you know, landlubbers forever, and they took to the skies. And now um, this is their ship, and I have a generator here for a motorcycle gang name generator. Let's see what we get. Oh, the Numnol polyester wolves num num no polyester wolves all right i'm making a note of that so they own this ship and it flies for them and at their command but we also need a name for this ship here we have a ship namer what do we get <laughs> ethel's marrow so I, I kind of like it. It sounds good. I guess it's named after one of the, uh, the bikers, uh, you know, old, old lady. Um, this is her, her essence. This is what, this is what was in her bones. This ship was named after her, I guess, maybe, or who knows? 
we should look more into this. There's probably a wiki, a space wiki article about why this ship is called Ethel's Marrow. But then we also need to know uh, the spaceship type. So we have a spaceship type generator here. Generate. All right, and here we have a prototype refittable transcrononal, trans, wait, transcrononal, transcrononal, wait, now I'm going to say crononal. Let me start over. Prototype refittable transcrononal. No, I thought I was going to say crononal. Wait, did I say crononal? Let me start over again. Prototype refittable transcrononal inner system medium siege battler. All right, so inner system uh, means it doesn't go too far. Medium siege battler means uh, it's medium size, of course. That could mean a lot of things. We don't really know, have a good idea of scale, maybe, for this universe. Um, siege battler, we know what that means. It, uh, it's good for besieging things. But also it's a prototype ship, so this is cutting edge stuff, which... You know, if it's a prototype, we're not 100% sure it works really well, but it's also refittable, which means I think that it has technology on it that uh, can be switched out pretty easily. At least that's the idea, right? And transcrononal, that gives me the idea that um, maybe it can exist in multiple times. Something about traveling across time. Of course, we are all essentially time travelers. We travel at the speed of about one minute per minute. So maybe that's just a fancy way of saying that. I'm not sure. We also need to know about the captain of this ship. It's very important. We'll start out with generating a description of the person who's the captain, and then we will generate a name for this person. All right here's a general person generator. I've set it to regular one person. Boom. All right, it says, this gentleman puts you in mind of a scuttling lizard. He has almond-shaped purple eyes that are like two windows on the evening sky. His thick, curly, lemon-yellow hair is worn in a style that reminds you of a comet's trail. He is short and has a lean build. His skin is light-colored. He has hollow cheeks and delicate ears. His wardrobe is elegant. It's a lot of orange. Okay, interesting. We're beginning to get an idea of who this is, but we need to find out who their name is. Here we have a fantasy name, Extreme Generator. Generate. <laughs> Not surprisingly, I feel like this name fits. Chaos Ghost Griffin is our captain's name, who is like a scuttling lizard, almond-shaped purple eyes, and has an elegant wardrobe with a lot of orange. Now for a little bit of background info for Chaos Ghost Griffin, our intrepid captain, he, this is actually his first time being a captain, his first time piloting a ship, being in charge of something like this. Uh, he's actually the third choice for this expedition for captaining. Uh, the two people that were chosen before him didn't make it for various reasons, one of which um, we have an emergency excuse generator here. The first choice of captain didn't make it because a stapler got stuck in the mail system in the server room and made it explode. So that person obviously couldn't make it. And the second choice for captain they had lined up couldn't make it because they got a terrible, terrible virus on their computer. Their computer is filled with malware and hacks and tons of toolbars and stuff because they clicked on a link bait headline, which said eight myths about pimples that Hollywood wants you to believe. Um, obviously a very enticing headline. I think a lot of us would probably click on that without a second glance. Um, so option number two is out for, for captain. And here we were with Chaos Ghost Griffin, who previously was, we have a job title maker here, Chaos Ghost Griffin's previous job was Corporate In-Home Certification Palletizer. So we had a cushy corporate job that we can see here. I'm not sure entirely what this entails, being a in-home certification palletizer, but um, I guess whatever this was, it was better. Maybe he had a touch of the wanderlust. Wanted to get out 
among the stars. Maybe he's getting a little, uh, you know, a little bit of the cabin fever. That's under. That's totally understandable. I wouldn't hold it against them. Now, it's important that we know, uh, in in order to get a full idea of this this voyage, the ship, the people on board, we need to know where they're coming from and where they're going. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you they're coming from Earth. They have just departed Earth. Uh, they're in the middle of their voyage, more or less. And the planet they're going to, I will use this planet generator. When I click, this says this planet has 0.2x Earth gravity. So just a little bit more than Earth gravity, I think. And a 194 day long year and an ellipsoid orbit. It is 48% land mass with two continents. It is 2.3 times the size of Earth. It is close to its sun and is in the Jurassic period. Does that mean it has, what does that mean if it's in the Jurassic period? It has the same dinosaurs that we had when we were in the Jurassic period? I'm not quite sure what that means, but that would be interesting. Maybe that just, maybe that's just a way of describing stages that planets go through or something. It will be interesting when they get there and they find out what that means. Um, I don't think they've named the planet yet. It just has some scientific name, you know, like, you know, Quasar Blip Blip Blap. 424 or something, and then when they get there and they plant their flag upon it, then they can name it, and because uh, they'll be the first ones there. So far, the only things we know about it are things we've seen with various space telescopes and the the incredible zoom feature on the latest iPhone. Now, there is a lot of really, really cutting-edge technology present on this ship. They have used a technology called quantified mega ionization to create a tool called a cosmic fluorosander, right? And that will help them once they get there. Also, they have used a cutting edge and prototype technology called fractional DNA neutralization to create another tool called a maser saw, which uh, obviously is just amazing. All right, at this point, you should be able to see the ship coming together a little bit. Um, if we look at the rear bumper there, you'll see that there is a place for a bumper sticker. And if we zoom in, we'll see what the bumper sticker is right here. Your flannel sells hesitations. Now that is a bumper sticker that a biker gang would put on their spaceship, isn't it? I I can't think of a better bumper sticker, honestly. No, your flannel sells hesitation. No, yours. Also, looking into the kitchen, the chef, by the way, Saber River Zealot, tonight is cooking up spit-roasted lizard with white pepper and grapefruits with a salad of diced Prussian asparagus, steamed bell pepper and apples, served with mozzarella, dabberlock soup, and rice bread with jam. That sounds incredible. Anyways, there you go. I'm excited to uh, see what the num null polyester wolves get up to over on this planet far, far away on this ship, Ethel's Marrow, captained by Chaos Ghost Griffin, a former corporate in-home certification palletizer. There's no way this will go afoul in the remaining 17 years they have left in their voyage. No way. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to download Poshmark using the link in my description box and shop from my closet or from your favorite brands. I'm sure once these people colonize the new planet out there, there will be some even new and crazy styles and fashions. I know. I think it, if I could, if I was just better at drawing people, I would love to like try to draw some like fashion stuff. But maybe I could just draw some stick figures and then draw some clothes on them. Just, just, clothes are just shapes on our bodies, right? Shapes, textures, lines. I already kind of do that. What's the difference? The only difference is that people are a very particular shape, and I don't usually draw particular shapes. Anyways, all right, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.